This chord progression takes you to a beautiful journey. The sequence of chords and the way they are played really create something special that I want to show you in this video. Now, unfortunately, I didn't write this chord progression. This is from a song called When It Rains by Pino Daniele, an amazing singer, songwriter from Naples. The chords walk you through an incredible journey. It's a chord progression in the key of D major. We start with a D major chord, a D major seventh chord, and then a D seven chord. Now this chord brings so much tension that resolves beautifully on this G major seventh chord. Now, D major over F sharp, I like to play the F sharp with the thumb. And then this beautiful E minor nine. And A. Now you can practice the chords with a simple strum. D major, D major seven. D dominant 7th, G major 7, D over F sharp, E minor 9, and A7, and back to D. Of course, the next step will be to play the chords with a beautiful arpeggio pima. You can keep it as simple as plucking the strings with thumb, index, middle, and ring finger. And the thumb will always pluck the bass note of each chord, while the um, index, middle, and ring finger will be playing the third, second, and first string. Now, of course, we can change the arpeggio P mine to something a little bit more rhythmic. So instead of plucking with thumb, index, middle, and ring, let's change the picking pattern and play the strings like this. Arpeggio Pima, but we can do more by simply changing the end of the pattern. We can add more rhythm to the same chord progression. So you will do. We start with the Arpeggio Pima, thumb, index, middle, and ring. But then from the ring finger, we have ring, middle, and index. And we play the notes slowly. We can repeat the same pattern for all the other chords. Now let's get to the beautiful stuff. Let's add a melody to this chord progression. This is when things get a little bit more challenging since we have to combine chords and melody using the finger picking technique. Now, when you think about it, the structure is quite simple and it's always the same, meaning we always have the chord followed by the melody. For example, D major, we play the chord and then the melody. First open, second string, 
fret number three. Now D major seven. We start the arpeggio with the ring finger. And then the melody on fret two, three, and back to fret number two, but this time we have the D dominant seventh chord. We play the, the arpeggio and then the melody. So the melody is mainly played within the chord two, starts with zero, two, three, two, and zero. And I like to add the second string as well. Finish with the fret three on the second string, and then the G major seventh chord. Now I like to play this chord, it's a little bit challenging. It's G, G on the third string, D on the second string, and F sharp on the first string for number two. Now the G major seventh chord. So we're playing the uh, melody here on the second string for number three. And I'm arpeggiating a different set of strings. I have sixth, fourth, third, and second. I start with the melody on the second string, then the arpeggio, and then the melody on the first string. Zero, two, and zero. Now the melody again with the uh, D major or F sharp. Now the melody on the third string for number two, third open, and E minor at nine, or E minor nine in this case. I like to play the full chord here. It's a beautiful arpeggio. And then A7 with this melody here. We move the melody on the second string, front number two, three, and five, and we pair it with those beautiful sixth on the fourth string, front number two, four, and five. Now, once you understand the structure, you can add a different melody to the chords. You can keep the same approach, always chord and then melody, but you can come up with your own. We finish this section with a beautiful chord, an F major chord. We are playing F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. Now the melody is on the second string here. Front number two, front number three, and the first open string. Now this chord will lead you to a different chord progression in the key of B minor. It sounds like this. We have beautiful chords, B minor seven and F sharp minor chord, G major, or G uh, six chord, D major over F sharp. Now this beautiful B flat major seven chord with the F on the bass. We're also playing the E open string, which is the sharp fourth of this chord. Back to the D, and F sharp. And again, you can play the chords with a simple strum or a simple finger picking pattern, but you can also 
add a melody to it. We keep it super simple in this uh, section. And then, of course, a variation to this chord progression. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, beautiful chord progression. Keep it simple, you can play the chords and have fun with it, or add this beautiful melody. Tabs and backing track are available on my Patreon page, so check it out in the comment section down below. I'm gonna leave you to practice this, enjoy this lesson, and I'll see you next time.